What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and More back with another video. You guys missed my PSA return. Check that video out. I did mention on there I got some Topps Series 2 hanger boxes. I was at a Walmart and they had a full stock of cards. I've been wanting to pick some of these up. They were like 13 bucks a box. And I bought a whole display case of 8 boxes. So hopefully going to pull some some short prints or something. Uh, I know the short prints on these I think are 1 in 15 or something like that. Um, I don't even see the short print on here. Gold 1 in 4, Rainbow 1 in 2, Row Blue 1 in 3, Green Rainbow Foil 1 in 15. So I've never seen those. And there's just so many different variations, autographs. So... I'm sure Brett will be in here and will let me know about the odds and whatnot. But <clears throat> leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, what do you want to see me pull here? I'm hoping for the Julio Rodriguez short print. I have not yet to get one of those cards yet, so that would be that would be a sick pull. It's kind of the one you want. I don't think I pulled any big short prints yet, the Bobby Witt or anything out of these, so I've just had to buy them. Um, I think you get different colors in here. Good chance at an SP. I think they're like, what, 1 in 15? So out of 8 boxes, we're like a 50% chance. Yep, two videos in one day. I was gone for a week. I got back and literally my PSA submission got back today, so perfect timing. And then I had bought these cards and figured I would open them sooner rather than later. What do we got? That's a Jordan. I don't know if that's a short print or not. Uh, 847. No, it's not a short print. But look at what we got behind it, guys. We got an autograph on card. Are you kidding me? Lopez from the Reds. On card autograph. I think that might be a numbered card, too, because that's not the standard color. Let's see here. Yep, out of 199 Holy crap, on the first hanger box, we got an auto, guys. That is that is insane. I don't know anything about this guy. It's, it's a rookie card, so it's got to be worth something. Unreal. Uh, let's see, we got Rainbow... Man, we get a bunch of rainbows? Okay, we got the insert rainbow cards. Goldschmidt, Votto, Mullins, Otani. We'll sleeve Otani. His prices are crazy on some of his cards. And what do we got here? Barry Larkin, Joey Votto. Insert cards. Will Myers. See if there's anything. I don't think there's a whole lot you can get out of these base cards. Maybe a rookie card or something. I think I did open some tops. Oh, I opened the two blast or two um, hobby boxes of this stuff. So I have opened series two, just not the hanger boxes, which is. Probably my favorite product to open of the tops. It's just nice. You get a lot of inserts. You get stuff, you know, stuff like the the auto right in the middle of the pack. And then you got the short prints, and gold cards, and possible real rare short prints. I wonder what the odds hits were on that autograph, man. Let's see, autograph one and seven, that can't be right, 17,000, autograph one, there's, there's no way, <laughs> here's more autographs, see there's so many different ones, autograph one and 8,000, who knows, <clears throat> Joel's in here, Brett's in here, step in the box, Let's see if we can get something big, what's the best card you pulled here, Brett, out of these? Probably the Julio. Other than that, I wonder what a big hit would be out of here. What 
don't think there's a whole lot in these base cards. Almost just better off seeing what's in the front or in the middle and just making sure sometimes the last card before the center one is a short print or something. Kevin Newman, Rainbow. Ooh, that card's got some scratch marks on it. Eloy, Manny Machado. Ronald Acuna, insert card. That's pretty cool. Oh, what is this? Robin Yount. Little die cut. Just not numbered or anything, but cool looking card. I've been looking at some older cards to buy. I like buying vintage stuff. Especially to grade it. I've done pretty good on some vintage stuff grading. Um, I wouldn't mind getting some Willie Mays cards. I don't have a lot of Willie Mays cards in my collection. I think the fact that he's still alive is he hasn't hit that like spike yet in, in price. <clears throat> I think that's going to happen when he passes away. So now would be the time to buy. Oh yeah, the Cruz gold card. That's, that's another nice one. I think that's like sixty bucks or something. Maybe it went. Maybe it went down a little bit. Yeah, Willie Mays undervalued. Yep. Well, I just watched the video, and this uh, this guy was talking about his 1960s cards. You could buy every one of his 1960s tops cards, base cards. And a PSA 5, and you'd only be at like 2,000 bucks. So, I've got quite a few of the Hank Aaron cards from his later years, but I still have to keep putting that stuff together. I'd like to get his rookie, but even like a PSA 4 is like probably like five grand now. And the Willie Mays rookies even more. Cedric Mullins, that's a chrome, nice. So we got a chrome uh, stars card there. Tops chrome, Cedric Mullins, pretty off-centered. And we got a gold card of Danny Duffy, so we got our first gold card. Already a little white spot in the corner. Bieber. I wonder what happened to Bieber. Remember the Bieber fever? Everyone was going crazy grading his base rookie cards. I wonder what those are all going for now. Oh, talk about Hank Aaron. We just pulled a Hank Aaron. Nice. And a Sweet Shades of Key Brian Hayes. Look at that stats. All the way to 76. Home runs. 755. He was on the Brewers his last two seasons there. Pretty sure I got most of his 70s cards. A couple of his 60s cards. I got one of them at PSA right now, so that'll be coming back in a couple months probably. I think I sent that in bulk. What is this? Oh, I thought it was like a short print or something, but it's not. <clears throat> yeah, I bought a... Uh, I think it was a 67 tops Hank Aaron card at the my local card show a year or two ago for like 20 bucks and it looked like right around the PSA 6 so I think I got that card for a steal and I finally sent it off to get graded now that the lower pricing is back and I have some other vintage cards in that order as well some Hall of Famer rookie cards and such so Excited to get those back. PSA 7 68 Hank Aaron. Nice. Pretty sure I got the 68 Hank Aaron. I think it's a 6. It's either a 6 or a 7. I can't remember what the 68 looks like. But the 67, I believe, is the white border one that I have at uh, PSA right now. I know the 70 is like the gray border one that I got in the PSA 7. There's that Jordan again. I got a Jordan Alvarez 
uh, Kaboom card. That was my first purchase of a Kaboom Kaboom card. We got a blue in here. Zach Davies, Cubs PC for Brett. On the Zach Davies blue. I think you get quite a few of these in here. They're not, they're like one in three packs or something. We got a gold, Boston Red Sox, Boston Bashers out of 2022. Gold cards are always nice. It's weird how some of the gold cards kind of look brown. They're like different shades of color. <laughs> it's like, what are they doing? It's not even gold. <clears throat> Parker card breaks. What's going on? Welcome. Yeah, when you buy raw vintage, it's hard to tell. I noticed there's one seller in particular that sells a ton of vintage cards. I think they're called Greg something cards. I'm sure you've seen them on eBay. And they sell some pretty nice cards. Raw. And they're pretty accurate, I think, on their grading. Yon Makata. Generation insert card. So, yeah. I like buying the, the vintage cards and trying to grade them. I graded a basketball Hall of Famer and got a PSA 9. And, that, and the price on that was crazy. I decided to keep it, but I might eventually sell it. I was not expecting to get a PSA 9. I have a really old card of a Hall of Famer like that. Sometimes you get caught by surprise. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But. Alright, we got four left, so we're halfway in. Four packs opened already. This was, like I said, a display case. It's like a little box, and it holds like eight hangers in it, and I bought all of them. They had another one there, I just left it for someone else. I figured I didn't want to overdo it anyways. But you have better odds of hitting something big the more you buy. But I think eventually some of these short prints are just going to go down in price. We've got a green ice. I think those are, are out of like $4.99. Got a rookie card. Be a big name. It's a catcher. It's a rookie card. Kolos, Koloskaveri. Not sure on him. So, we'll sleeve him up though. Green ice. Those are not easy to hit. 480 out of 499. Sweet. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of catchers that hold a lot of value, but sometimes. Robbie Ray. We got a blue. We got a cubby. Rainbow card, some more stars, Randy Rosarena, Goldschmidt, all-star card. Ooh, what do we got here? Another die cut. We got Willie McCovey. I always think back on the Wonder Years I used to watch when I was a kid. And it was took place in the 60s and late 60s. And they had a, the one kid had a Willie Mays, or sorry, Willie McCovey. He just kept saying, the Willie McCovey is off the table. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to trade it. It's pretty funny. I have his rookie card. The 1960 tops. So that's a pretty awesome card. I think I only paid a few hundred bucks for it. So. Ah, uh, the hockey young guns. Oh, I've I've sold a lot of them. Some of them have dropped in price. Um. I've done good on some, and some I've kind of just made a little bit. I mean, I bought them all raw and. 99% of them were PSA 10s, so. But the prices have definitely kind of come down. Um, Aaron uh, Fox, Adam Fox, uh, his rookie, or young guys, went crazy. I ma I've made a lot of money off of that because I was getting those for like $10, $12 a card. And I sent, I think, like 18 of them in. And they all got 10s. And I think probably the last one I sold was like. 220 to 240 dollars, but I was getting around 250 to 300 there for a while. Oh yeah, yep. 
one of yours was great. Good old Winnie. I don't see Fred Savage acting a lot anymore. I know he's kind of a voice, commercials and stuff. But. Alright. One of my favorite movies as a kid was the movie The Wizard, with, and he was in it. What do we got here? We got another rainbow. It's like the old school Braves jersey. Another Eloy Machado. Getting the same guys over and over again. All star card, Cal Ripken Jr. Looks like we got something behind him. Another Sweet Shades, Francisco Lindor. And I'm always checking to see. Mount Castle. I had a really nice Mount Castle a while back that I sold for pretty good money. I'll check, probably sweep through these later and pull the rookies out and stuff, but kind of going faster on them right now. So there's not a whole lot you can get from those base cards. So what I like about these, all the all the hits are kind of like right in the center, and then you don't gotta waste your time. All right, two more boxes, guys. Two more boxes. We have not hit a short print, but. Like I said, I think it's about a 50-50 shot here. And even if you hit a short print, a lot of times it's one of those $5 short prints. Which I've hit uh, Willie Mays and I hit a Mr. Baseball. Or, or Manny Machado, I hit that card. I've hit a few short prints. One and eight? Oh, okay. So I should get a short print then. I bought a whole display case, and there's eight boxes. So. Yeah, Wizard, great movie. There's a lot of great 80s movies. I've got a lot of them, but I just don't find the time to put movies in anymore. Maybe in the winter a little bit more. you got more time, but... Usually always hunting down some cards and stuff, working on my card collections in the winter. Zach Davies... Wow, that's weird. We got the die cut card in the front this time. We got Chipper Jones, Bellinger. Man, this one doesn't have a whole lot in it. We got a Jeter, 87 tops card, Generation. Man, that card, that whole pack didn't have much of anything, did it? Hmm. Huh. Well, alrighty then. There's Tatis. Fortunately, he's out. He got the boot for the next how many months? So. Oh, a chipper maybe a blue. Okay, I don't see any blue on it, but oh yeah, look at that. Chipper Jones out of two ninety nine. Good call. Good call. Brett, step in the box. I don't see any blue on it, but yeah, the fact that it was in the front there instead of the back. It's a numbered card. Out of two ninety nine. Oh, it's a black, okay. Wait, isn't black normally one ninety nine? Huh. Interesting. Uh James, what's going on? Welcome. Welcome in. <clears throat> you just getting here? We're doing eight uh eight boxes here, the hanger boxes, and the first box we pulled an auto. It's a rookie auto. It's numbered out of one ninety nine. So that's kind of in our hit of the opening. We still haven't hit a short print. So this is the last box, hopefully we'll have one. That's kind of a risky take. I spent, I spent what a good hundred bucks on these. Just about. Yeah, just over a hundred bucks. So it's kind of a short printer bust on these. <laughs> But I hit I hit a decent auto out of out of uh, what was it? I can't remember. I hit like a thirty or forty dollar auto. I already sold it, but that was out of the hobby box, not out of the not out of these. <clears throat> All right, let's get lucky here. Come on, time is now. Sanchez, womp womp. Got another chrome, so 
So there's that. And we got a gold card. And we got trolled. Alright. <laughs> Not the greatest gold card to hit. Some stars cards. Wander Franco. Hey, we got a Wander Franco rookie. Nothing special. And uh, no hit club card. And that's gonna do it. So we risked it for a biscuit, and we did not hit the biscuit. So, <laughs> but we got an auto. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he's worth a whole lot, but you never know. Some of these guys are worth five bucks, and then the end of the season comes around, and they go crazy like Randy Rosarena did. Uh, was it last year? And um, then their card goes, you know, their auto card goes to like 200 bucks or something. So you just never know. I don't know if that's even worth anything. Gold cards. Interesting how the chromes come with the gold behind. Huh. Interesting. Alright. So we'll go over some of the some of the hits, I guess, here. Not that we got anything major, but... We did get a Wander Rookie. Got that auto. That was the best hit, I think. Chipper Jones numbered card. There's a Rookie. Catcher. Also from the Reds. Also a Rookie. And that's numbered out of $4.99. Couple gold cards. We did good on the gold cards. Hank Aaron card. We were just talking about him. Ronald Acuna. Robin Yount. That one was not numbered. Otani. Regular, not a chrome. So, not bad, but not what we were looking for. Um, maybe we'll do better next time. Maybe I'll pick up some more hangers, but. Um, oh, yeah, and the Sweet Shades. I think those are pretty cool cards. Keep her in haze. Let me know what you guys thought. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys have a good evening. Maybe we'll be back here with some more openings. My Walmart hasn't stocked. Like seems like they've restocked any time I've been in there. They just never never have anything new. So hopefully we can find some find some more stuff soon. Can't wait for some of these some of these other products to come out so we can have something to open. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. We'll see you in the next one.